In this video, let's get acquainted with the EverHour PowerUp for Trello. I will show you how to install it, how to track your time, and how to report on this time. So let's move on to the PowerUps gallery. Click to add PowerUps and type EverHour. Then choose this Time tracking power up by ever hour. Press add. Again, add. And here we go. Once it's installed, this power up will be added to all boards inside your Trello workspace. Well, sometimes you may need a page to be reloaded to see it. That's the icon that shows up and it means you can start tracking time. But before I show you how to track time, an important note. This power-up is created by the same team that developed EverHour product, which has a lot of integrations, including Trello. So an important note is that a power-up by EverHour and the core EverHour product are not the same. So these are different products with different databases. And if you track your time with the PowerUp, nothing shows up in the account that you created on everhour.com. And the opposite is true. If you track time in our main product, EverHour, you will not see its records in your PowerUp reports. So please keep in mind if for some reason you created accounts in both versions, uh, time will not be uh, displayed uh, in two databases simultaneously. It's one or another. Okay, let's proceed with time tracking. I can now click on my card to see time tracking options. So before I start tracking my time, I can estimate it saying how many hours I believe team should spend on it and make this card billable by setting its rate and additionally a budget if I wish. So when I press save I can now start tracking my time. I can use the timer button to track my personal time and I can add my time manually for myself and for other members from this board. You, you can see now the billable section updates because we have more time here. We can edit the time that was tracked previously. And when we close a card we can see the total spend time against its estimate and the billable amount if we chose to uh, display it on the front end. Now let's go to reporting. Click on time icon on the right side to show you the report section of it. Here you can filter by period, by particular boards, members and group your time with different options. For example, we can group it by member. So now we see in short the total time by member and its estimate. If we have no grouping, we have more information like whether this time is billable or not, what its non-billable amount. We can manually invoice some of this time And then we have a broader filter here. We can be more advanced. You can save this view. So all these settings appear every time you open it. And you can download this report as a CSV file. Switching to the timesheet view opens the weekly timesheet where you see 
how time was tracked by your team. So it's a kind of very easy report with uh, day and time by member. On the right side you can see the settings option where you can apply some general settings in terms of how time shows up on your reports and in your export, what's the first day of the week and the currency. Uh, if you are the person who um, installs these uh, power-up, you can go to the billing version and activate the subscription. We first give you 14 days of free trial and uh, in order to continue you need to purchase a full subscription. So that's mainly it, how it works. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions on our power-up, please don't hesitate to contact us at powerup at everhour.com.